So I'm in uh, Kona, Hawaii at the moment and it's uh, Wednesday the 14th of December and uh, last night I uploaded my uh, challenge to the Flat Earthers to produce a uh, flight plan so that should just uh, place the timeline pretty accurately. There's the uh, post office, United States post office. That's the location. And there's the, uh, the bank of Hawaii. So the reason I'm just verifying that I'm actually in Hawaii is because uh, I took a GPS log of the entire flight from Sydney yesterday and I'm going to be reviewing that in a later video but uh, just wanted to verify that I'm actually here on the, uh, the 14th of December. So as you just saw I verified that I'm currently in Hawaii on uh, Wednesday the 14th of December and what I'm going to do now is just show you the uh, GPS log that was taken by this uh, Bad Elf Pro GPS unit which I had turned on from before takeoff until after landing and it was recording and it's in uh, flight mode which means it's going to record every 10 seconds any time that it's moving faster than 50 miles per hour so uh, what I want you to do is uh, just take a note of a couple of things here this is the uh, photograph I took of the flight management system on the aircraft after landing okay it's a flight summary which shows you the takeoff time was 0850 UTC landing was 1810 UTC and the en route time was 9 hours and 20 minutes and there's also a couple of other values in there the amount of fuel used the air distance versus the ground nautical miles traveled average true airspeed average ground speed okay but uh, what we can do with this uh, GPS is download the log to the Bad Elf Pro app and I've already done that so if we have a look here this uh, one down the bottom it's the Tuesday evening flight it was uh, 9 hours 19 minutes 3,311 points recorded for a distance of 4,493 nautical miles. Now, what we can do is go in and actually have a look at that. And it's going to show you the entire route which was recorded seamlessly. There was no dropout at all of the GPS. And what this green graph is showing you is the speed, the average speed that was recorded. What the blue one is showing us is the altitude and you'll see that basically we were flying at one level for a while then we climbed then we climbed again and we climbed again and we went up and down a little bit. We basically kept climbing to get above weather and uh, as the aircraft becomes lighter as it burns fuel you can fly higher um, which is more efficient so that's basically explaining that but also the distance if you have a look at the distance it's again just seamless the whole nine hours whole 9 hours 19 minutes there's no gap no dropout at all now the beauty of um, this bad elf GPS is you can actually export the log as a KML file which drops neatly into Google Earth and there it is okay so there's the uh, the Google Earth um, program with the KML file included and what you can then do is just run through the actual log and you'll see, see that little cursor moving it's showing where we were at any given time okay as I move that log backwards and forwards so let's just have a look at the time now remember we took off at 850 look when the uh, the log starts 849 okay so if we zoom right in to Sydney it even shows the type of departure we did off which runway we departed off 3-4 right and then did bigger did a right turn and headed out over the coast. So you'll see if we if we just move that slider bar, you'll see it's going to show us. Just so sensitive, there it is. Just need to move it very, very slowly. Okay, the resolution's not really fine enough to get every second, but anyway, if we move it like that, you see that we can plot a time and see where we were at any given time. And come to the landing time in Hawaii, it was 06, sorry, 6 09 pm, which is 18 09. And you'll see that the, uh, the flight log actually had 18 10. Okay, so uh, the times all match up with the actual flight log and what the aircraft has recorded. But uh, what is really relevant here is that it's a seamless log. The GPS never dropped out at all. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just post this. I'll just mix this in with uh, the other video. 
and I'll also add some additional short clips that were taken throughout the flight. So, you know, these people that claim that GPS drops out, doesn't work in the middle of the ocean, have you actually tried it? Did you just watch a YouTube video and you believe what you see, or have you actually tried it yourself? Because I do this all the time, guys. You know, every time I fly, I'm using GPS, and, you know, more recently, I've started using this again during the flights because this proves that we are recording um, accurate GPS logs the whole way. It works fine everywhere, all over the earth.